Harry was small and skinny, with brilliant green eyes and jet black hair that was always untidy. He wore round glasses held together with a lot of sellotape because of all the times Dudley had punched him on the nose. The only thing Harry liked about his own appearance was a very thin scar on his forehead, which was shaped like a bolt of lightning. Harry Potter was a wizard. I'm a what? A wizard and a thumping good one, I'd wager. Our new celebrity. <laughs> you are the boy who lived. Wicked. He possessed many of the qualities that Voldemort himself prizes. Determination, resourcefulness, and if I may say so, a certain disregard for the rules. You know, at times, I forget how much you've grown. We start where the books left off, platform nine and three quarters. But Harry is a dad, and he's the head of the Department of Magical Law Enforcement. We start out with Harry not even thinking about his scar, and all of a sudden, we're thrown into a world where that scar starts hurting again. Harry's scar, I think, is a reminder of what his parents gave for him to be here. This scar is as much as his connection to Voldemort as it is to the love of his mother. Holy cricket, you're Harry Potter. I'm Hermione Granger. Hermione, the cleverest witch in Harry's year, had muggle parents and would probably have had enough sense not to say that she went to Hogwarts. She was already wearing her new Hogwarts robes. She had a bossy sort of voice, lots of bushy brown hair and rather large front teeth. Hermione Granger was on the edge of her seat and looked desperate to start proving that she wasn't a dunderhead. You do it then if you're so clever. Go on, go on. Wingardium Leviosa. I've yet to think of a spell that our Hermione can do. Petrificus Totalis. Well, 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 Hermione, you really are the brightest witch of your age. Honestly, don't you two read? You are brilliant, Hermione. Truly. Hermione, you're honestly the most wonderful person I've ever met. I think she's had a really good life. Um, and she got the love of her life. And I think that that does help you to feel centered. She has children with the person that she's always been in love with. She is in charge, which is <laughs> rather marvelous because she's the brightest person in the wizarding world. I admire her brilliance, her brain. And you are? Um, Ron Weasley. Pleasure. First time at Hogwarts, Ron's new too. She pointed at the last and youngest of her sons. He was tall, thin and gangling, with freckles, big hands and feet, and a long nose. I'm the sixth in our family to go to Hogwarts. You could say I've got a lot to live up to. You never get anything new either with five brothers. I've got Bill's old robes, Charlie's old wand, and Percy's old rat. This is Scabbers, by the way. Pathetic, isn't he? Just a little bit. Red hair and a hand-me-down robe. You must be a Weasley. What are you all doing here? Rescuing you, of course. Eat slugs! I'll be a knight. That was clever, Ron. It's been nice to have him. He loves everyone deeply. I feel like he's always been, felt like he's responsible for his friends. It's one of his great strengths. It's still best buds, always best buds. It's that, it's that thing when you've got a friend for life. You maybe see them every couple of years, but as soon as you see them, you're right back where you left off. Immediately, that never goes away. <laughs>